Welcome, guys. We are so glad to have you. We're glad to be here. So we have a fun challenge for you today. Since you are all stars of Netflix's Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, we thought it would be fun to see how well you really know Jurassic Park. Oof. We're going to show you some classic lines from Jurassic Park movies, including the Jurassic World franchise. We're going to see if you can finish the iconic line. I have a feeling we're all mega fans here. Yeah, definitely. Huge fans, but it's just the D. Details. I don't have Paul's brain. Paul knows every detail and I'm like, how do I pronounce that? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> All right, so since there are three of you, here's how it's gonna work. I'm going to play you the clip, then whoever raises their hand first will get to answer. And whoever is the first to get the right answer will get a point. But if you're wrong, then somebody else can take a stab at it. There is no penalty for guessing. All right, ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. <sighs> Dr. Grant. My dear Dr. Sattler, welcome. Actually, I think it was Kosser. Good job. Uh, I hope I'm not wrong. Jurassic Park? <laughs> <laughs> it was actually Jurassic World. We're so sorry. No! Thank you for playing. <laughs> I was so sure. All right, let's see if Kosser is right. Here is the answer. Dr. Grant, my dear Dr. Sattler, welcome. To Jurassic Park. Oh, oh. Sorry, Causer, that was actually doctored footage. Uh, they put that in <laughs> yeah. just now, so you can get they it. They right. ADR'd it later. <laughs> yeah. Uh <-huh. laughs> Woo! Got him. Woo! <laughs> Paul, go ahead. Uh, hold on to your butts. Anyone think he's right or wrong? No, he's 100% correct. Hold on to your butts. Woo! Very impressive. <laughs> the key to a happy life is to accept you are never actually... Yeah, Paul, give it a shot. That you are never actually in control. That sounds right to me. I vote yes for Paul. The key to a happy life is to accept you are never actually in control. Ah! <laughs> Yes, Paul! I just went with the most philosophical answer. You're so good. I can remember like almost any quote from that movie specifically. From any other one? Probably not. You're implying that a group composed entirely of female animals will breed? No, I'm I'm simply saying that life, uh... Rainy had her hand right up. Life, uh, finds a way. Also philosophical. Spiritual, that means spiritually. I'm simply saying that life, uh, finds a way. I got one. I'm happy. Your impression was just spot on. Thank you. The, the timing, you know. I have to give the man justice. He's so iconic. Beard in, in Jurassic World. Once you got that beard, it was looking fantastic. Jeff Goldblum just always looks good, like seriously. And remember, something chases you. Yeah, Paul? You know, we're on a show filled with things that want to kill us, and we don't really have anything. If something chases you, right. Very valid. Just for it's, life It's in the general. ideal answer. And remember, Something chases you. Run. Ooh, the delivery too, Paul. <laughs> I told you, only this movie. This is it. I, I don't think you're giving us our due credit. Our scientists have done things which nobody's ever done before. Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. I think Rainy's hand went up first. If they shouldn't. Close, you're close. Coster, you want to yeah, give it a shot? If they should. Ah! That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. Coster's gonna get, get the girl. point on that All right. one. All right. Hey, buddy. You think what I'm um, thinking? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> I was filling in the blank. The, the timing may have had a little leeway in there. That or me memorizing the dialogue of the movie, we don't, we, we yeah, don't know. Exactly. <laughs> hey, buddy. You think what I'm thinking? Hey! Get it, girl. When you gotta go. Rainy? When you gotta go, you gotta go. You just do. When you gotta go, you gotta go. That's always my biggest thing. That's every time we we're recording for this, I would always say like, what about when they have to go to the restroom? Just what happens then? I mean, we don't need to see it. It's a family show. But at the same time, you're like, what happens? In 1956. Mm -hmm. Nothing worked. Yeah, yeah. But John, if the Pirates of the Caribbean breaks down the Pirates... Rainy? The Pirates don't eat the tourists. But John, if the Pirates of the Caribbean breaks down the Pirates don't eat the tourists. Woo! -hoo! This is a close game, guys. It is. Ooh. Uh, okay. Woo -hoo -hoo. Game's on. Plus, 
listen up, y'all. We gotta get her before she goes and spooks the whole herd. Stay to the outside. Or... We got this. Relax. There he is. I, I feel, feel like, like I should know this. Causer, you should know this. <laughs> I should definitely know this. Oh, okay. I gotta go for the point. I'm I, sorry. I know. I was like, I was like, I'm gonna go for it too. Brainy had her hand up first, technically. I'm gonna say Darius knows what he's doing. <laughs> Anybody else? I'm sorry. I watch the show too much. Darius has got this. Somebody has said the right answer. Wait, I said like four answers. Uh, Darius knows what the dinosaurs are doing. <laughs> I don't, Darius that's, is a dinosaur. That's he is a dinosaur. Final, Just roll the line. clip. Darius is a dinosaur. Stay to the outside. Oh, he's got it. Relax. Darius knows dinosaurs. Oh! So, like, I get the point, right? <laughs> How's or what happened? That was I, supposed to I, be your... I knew it, but I questioned myself. <laughs> I mean, first of all, tell me what that was from, guys. Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. Yeah. 100%. Yes, sir. It's a scary world out there. But I'll trust you. I knew Rainy was going to know Rainy. it. Come on. Rainy's mouth was moving a lot. I know. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, is she going to stop it on me? Because I hold out very, like, a la Chris Pratt. I'll trust you if you trust me. I'll trust you. If you trust me. I felt that one. Well, there is one more. Ooh. Because there is a one point difference here between um, Paul and Rainy, I'm gonna make this, and this last one's pretty hard. So this last one's gonna be worth two. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. Hey, Toro, your arms are. Man. I mean, you recorded I know it. This, you I know, know this one, but I don't want to take the point. Take it. His arms were pretty vestigial at that point. Your arms are. You, you, P pretty much vestigial at this point. <laughs> Get it, Paul. What would you like to say to your fellow competitors? It's just been, you know, such an amazing experience to be here with you all today. Of course, you guys mean just, just so much to me. Causer with her plant always showing support in the background. Thank you so much. Thank you. Rainy always being there with a smile and her headphones to keep her company. We love you all. Good night. How does everyone feel like they did today? I could have done a little bit better with that should and shouldn't. That's definitely going to eat at me for the rest of the day. But other than that, fierce competitors, I will always call them camp fam for life. It's been a true pleasure. I feel so humbled to be in a room with, you know, such winners today. And it's never a failure, always a lesson. So, you know, three points today, 10 points tomorrow. All right. Well, congratulations, Paul. You are our Jurassic champion today. So tell me your favorite Jurassic movie. I think we know Paul's answer. I'm sorry. I gotta go with OG Jurassic World. I guess I fell in love with like how quickly they adapted. They modernized it so quickly. My favorite would have to be the original Jurassic Park with a very, very, very close second of Jurassic World. Just because Jurassic World is what really introduced me to the whole franchise of it all. But Jurassic Park, you just can't. It's so funny. The OG of the OG of, of Jurassic Park. I think back on how iconic it was and how much it influenced influenced me growing up in terms of like, I, I wanted to be an archeologist growing up. Well, you know what? Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous is well on its way to becoming one of these iconic pieces of the Jurassic Park franchises. What would you like fans to know about Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous season two? It's going to be just as exciting as season one. Our season one went along the same timeline as Jurassic World, the first movie. In our show, everybody got off the island but us. So now we get to sort of go in uncharted territory of creating our own timeline Timeline, sort of really seeing what goes on at Isla Nublar when literally nobody is there, just these kids and dinosaurs, and how they're going to adapt and survive. Also, we might not be alone on the island, and that is my favorite thing about season two. Thanks so much for having us. We hope you have fun playing along. Be sure to check out Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous out now on Netflix. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.